Hello there everyone, uh, welcome back to another video, um, something slightly different in this one, uh, you might remember a couple of videos ago when I was working on, um, I was working on Ray's green machine and uh, I had a problem with it where it blew the speaker in the radio and it also blew my um, speaker that I used to have up here, so um, just needed another monitor speaker really so I was kind of looking around the place and um, had that I bought a set of these um, at a radio rally or somewhere uh, they were Bowroom Wilkins DM 110i's and uh, I got them very cheap I paid a tenner or something like that for them Long story short, I ended up scrapping them because there was only, out of the two drivers and the two tweezers, I had only one good driver. Everything else was shot. Um, so I says, right, I might as well use this. And uh, we're going to make a monitor speaker out of it, so I just need something to put it in. Uh, this measures around 5 ohms, so uh, near enough, it'll do. And... Uh, as I said, we need something to put it in now, so um, that is the next step. Here's what I've come up with. Um, this is all made out of pallet wood. And all sanded down. All the corners are rounded over. I put a little port in the bottom of it. I just kind of filled in all the imperfections in the pallet wood. And... Uh, I just have to take care of the back of it now. So uh, yeah, it came out kind of, kind of nice. So once we get the speaker in there, um, get some padding in there behind it as well, it should be pretty good. Of course, dumbass here forgot to measure. I want to put it. Oh, here he dropped the phone. I want to put it here, and. I can get it to fit there, but it's not going to be easy, but uh, we'll figure it out. So I just want to see, can I get it to fit in there? Yeah, so it will fit. I just had to kind of lift up the, the shelf a bit that I could fit it in. It's exactly the height of that there, so once I get finished up and painted now, it should look okay. So that's what it looks like with the with the speaker in it and um, as I said once I get it painted up and whatnot it'll uh, it'll look okay so I just need to take care of this back panel now um, I have made up a little connection point so that'll old speaker terminals off something I scrapped and um, Pair of spades there, soldered on. So, yeah, I'm just thinking now what way to do the back. So that's what I've come up with. Just have to seal that up. I was going to make this removable, but then I decided I'm sure there's no point. So, um have to get some uh, padding to put inside it. Uh, like this is totally overkill for what I'm doing. I'm just bored. So uh, I'm going to test it now and see how it works. Yep. It works. Some amount of effort to go to for a monitor speaker, but I wanted to see how smooth I could get the uh, the pallet wood, and uh, that is as smooth as a baby's bum. So I don't know what way I'm going to finish it. So I'm going to sit on it for now and um, come back to that at a later date. So there we have it, total overkill monitor speaker, hopefully this one doesn't get blown up. 73, we'll get you in the next one.